Now let's solve the problem dealing with nickels, dimes and quarters. David has $2.40 in nickels, dimes and quarters. He has twice as many nickels as quarters and twice as many quarters as dimes. How many of each does he have? So that's interesting. So let's first define our variables. So we say let the number of, let's say number of nickels be n and let the number of dimes be d and let the number of quarters be q. So we have our variables defined. Now says he has twice as many nickels as quarters. That means nickels are twice as many quarters. So we have one equation which says nickels equals to two times quarters. And twice as many quarters as dimes. So these are twice times. So we get two equations here. How many of each does he have? That is what we need to find. Now let us say He's got all these coins. That means the ratio is this. So what is the total amount? When we say that he has $2.40, then this is because of these nickels and quarters. Now, if there are n nickels, d dimes, and q quarters, then how much money will that make? It should make $2.40. So let's write down this equation, which is $2.40 is equals to if there are n nickels value of each nickel is 5 cents so it'd be 0 0.05 times nickels plus dimes is 10 cents 0 0.10 times d and quarters is 25 cents 0 0.25 of quarters so that is how we get our equation now there are three variables just one equation here how to solve it so best way is to write your variables in terms of one thing. So which one should I choose? Nickels is two quarters and quarters is two dimes. Well, if I say nickels is two quarters and quarters is two dimes, then how many dimes nickel has? Let's figure out like that. So nickels has two quarters, quarters is two dimes. So we can write nickel is equals to two times two dimes. Is it okay? That means nickel is 4 dimes. Correct? Okay? So we get our equation where we have everything in terms of dimes. So let's calculate how many dimes we have. And then we'll find rest. Correct? Okay? Do you understand? So we convert it this side. So we know now. We'll look into these. The quarters are twice the number of times. Nickels are 4 times the number of times. So we'll use this in our equation. So the equation becomes 2.40 is equal to 0 0.05. Instead of nickels, we'll write 4D, 4 dimes, 4 times, right? 4D plus dimes as such. And quarters, 2 times. So it's 0 0.25 times 2D. So in this equation, we have only one variable. So we can solve it, right? So let's open this up and try to solve it. So you get 2.40 equals to, now dime is common, right? So let me write, and every part has a dime, right? So we'll take dime at the end. Or let me multiply and do it later. So 4 times 5 is 20. So this will get 0 0.20 dimes. Is it okay? So this, and this one is 0 0.10 time. Plus, if I do 2 times this, I get 0 0.50 D, right? Now let's combine all this. So how much do we have? 0.2, 0.1 and 0.5. So 2, 3 and 5, 8. We get 0 0.80 times equals to 2.40. Now to find D, we'll divide this by 0 0.80. So we get 2.40 divided by 0 0.80 equals to number of times. Correct? So what do you get? You can use your calculator. Or just 8 is 3 times, correct? So dimes is equal to 3. So that is what we get. 
So we get three dimes, right? Now, if we know number of dimes, we can write down how many are other coins, right? So from here, we know dimes is equals to three. Now, nickel should be four times times. So nickel is four times times, which is four times three, which is 12. And quarters are two times the number of times. So two times three, which is six. Correct? So we can write down our answer now. And our answer is that David has 12 nickels. three dimes and six quarters. Six quarters. So these are, this is the distribution of coins which he has that should make two dollars forty cents. So as an exercise, I would like you to check it out. So multiply 12 by 0 0.5, 0 0.05, five cents. 3 by 0.1 which is 10 cents and 6 by 0.25 25 cents and see whether that amounts to two dollars 40 cents or not right so that's a check which you should do thank you and all the best